Hi, kindergartners. I'm Mrs. Buck, and you have found me in my favorite place in my classroom. Can you guess where I am? I'm surrounded by books, books, books everywhere. I have them sorted in different baskets to help me find what I'm looking for easier. I'm in my classroom library. We're going to learn how to do reading workshop today. Now, normally in the classroom, I would have all of you gather around and we would sit on the carpet in the front of the class and we would read a book together. Sometimes I like to read to you. Sometimes I like to listen to you read and sometimes we have guest readers. When we get together, we have a job to do. We all have jobs. My job is to teach you something new about reading every day. Every time we look at a book, there's something new to learn. And your job is to listen and keep your eyes on me and keep your minds ready to learn. During the workshop, sometimes you'll have a partner who you can turn and share your ideas and your predictions and your questions about the story. But since we're all at home, we can't do that really. So if you have anybody in the room with you that you can turn and share with during a reading, it's always a great idea to turn and talk about what you're thinking because good readers are always thinking and always asking questions about the book. Today we're going to mostly focus on how to pick a book to read and how to find a good spot in your house to read. There are good spots to read, like even in bed, somewhere quiet, at a table with a chair, good lighting, maybe somewhere snuggly on a couch with a pillow and a blanket, maybe outside in the shade under a tree. That'd be a wonderful place to read. Maybe in the back seat of the car while dad drives to work. Wherever you are, if you have a book and you have a quiet place to sit with a good light, that's a good place to read. This is my favorite spot in my room because I have lots of different places for the kids to come and sit. Let me show you. I've got this little option here. You can sit in a comfy leather square. That's where I'm sitting on. You could also sit on a wiggle ball. You could sit in a scoop chair on the floor. Sometimes you just want to snuggle up right on the floor. Maybe you want to sit in a chair. Maybe you want to sit under a table. Wherever you choose is fine as long as you can focus on the book. Now, let me show you a few good books that we're going to be looking at together during this first unit of kindergarten reading this year. Let's take a look at the titles and learn to make predictions about what we think the book is going to be about because that's a good way to determine is this a book that you're interested in reading or not. So here's a book. This book is called We're Going on a Book Hunt. It's by Pat Miller. Take a look at the picture. I see bears in the picture to you. What do you think they're doing in this book? The title is we're going on a book hunt. So the bears must be looking for books. That sounds like a good story for me. <clears throat> Here's another book. Let's look at the title and the illustrations on the cover and make a prediction about what we think this book is about. <coughs> this book is called Wild About Books. It's by Judy Sierra and the pictures are by Mike, Mark Brown. Now I see lots of animals on the front cover of this book and they don't look like dogs and cats. They look like wild animals and the title also tells me Wild, wild about books. Hmm, this book might be about animals who are wild about reading. That looks like a book we would enjoy. Here's a cute story about a little dog. I see a dog on the front cover and I see a little, a little chick or a baby duckling. I also see this symbol on the book telling me that this is an award-winning book and that usually means you're going to enjoy it. This book is called How Rocket Learned to Read by Tad Hills. 
this looks like it could be about a dog named Rocket, you think? And he's going to learn how to read. Look at all these books that he wants to look at. How about this book title? But excuse me, that is my book. Hmm. The characters in this story don't look like bears. I think it's little girls or maybe a boy and a girl. I'm not sure. Sometimes you just have to wonder. And it looks like she is upset maybe because that is my book. Maybe this guy took a book from her and she wants it back. Makes me curious to know what's inside. All of these are looking like good stories to me. And here's another book called Read, Read, Read. And then it says Poems by Amy Ludwig van der Water, illustrated by Ryan O'Rourke. This one shows pictures of kids flying in books. <gasps> that makes me curious. What do you think these poems could be about? Hmm. When you're looking at book covers, especially children book covers, they give you lots of clues about what the story is about. The title gives you a clue, the pictures give you a clue, and then it piques your interest. You decide just by looking at that cover, do I want to read this book or not? And it's up to you what books you want to read when it's your time to read by yourself. But when we read together, I'll choose great books to read with you. Now, all of those look like great books with characters and stories with that might have problems and solutions and beginning, middle and end. But take a look at this book you might notice something a little different about this one. I'm not gonna read the title to you this time. I want you to use your best guess. What do you think this book is called? Shout it out if you think you know. Oh, did I hear you say apples? Great job, kindergarten. This book is called Apples. I'll bet you knew because you used your eagle eye to look at the picture. The picture shows us apples, and I see this big red writing that starts with A. So if you're like me, you're guessing it must be a book about apples. This is not a storybook. This is a book that will tell you something. So we'll learn something from this story, but it might be interesting. So maybe that's a book you'd like to look at. I have books on my shelf next to me that are all true stories. You'll learn from them. And I have lots of books surrounding me that have characters. Maybe they're fairy tales. Maybe they're folk tales. Maybe they're stories about cats and dogs, but they have characters and they're make-believe and they have a beginning and a middle and an end. If you were in my classroom today, I would let you get a little baggie and put books inside that you are interested in reading and then finding a spot in the room to settle down and get comfortable and get quiet. And then I want you to sit and look at the books. Even if you're not reading the words, you can read the pictures. You can tell me what the book is about just by turning the pages and looking at what the characters are doing or what the nonfiction book is teaching you. So today, your job is to go around your house and find a couple of books that you're interested in reading. Look at the cover, look at the illustrations, and decide, is this a book for me? Then I want you to go and find a spot, a good reading spot for your reading workshop time. It can be next to a grandparent or an aunt or uncle. Maybe it's by yourself in your bedroom with your door closed. Maybe it's outside in the backyard under the shade of a tree. Wherever you choose is fine as long as you can focus on your book and you have good light to see. Please go on to the seesaw activity next and draw me a picture or take a photograph of your favorite place to read in your house and send it to me. I'd like to see where you're reading. Take a picture with you reading in that space. I'd love to see what you're reading and where you chose to read. 
I'll see you next time. I'll be in my library reading the books that I love to read. <laughs>